Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It's Dan here from Sports Cards UK and in today's video we've got another Mail Monday. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. So we've got a decent amount of cards to show you. So without further ado, let's jump into parcel number one. kind of never know where to start with these when people sellotape the front so much because it's difficult to kind of because it goes the right all the way around it's difficult to kind of get into the like even sellotaping it on the bottom it just doesn't allow me to oh god right there we go we got there all right so we have Well, okay, so I'm pretty sure, unless it's the guy that I was spoken to on Instagram, I don't know, there wasn't a letter in there, you'd have to let me know. Um, yeah, I ordered so much stuff, because I think I did order one of these online as well, but I was speaking to someone that had these, and he said, um, I think, yeah, I think it was the um, someone that messaged me on Instagram, um, said, did I want these, and I, I said, yeah, I'll, um, I'll give him a shout out, if it was uh, him, I'll, I'll, I'll stick his... Uh, Insta name on the um, video. So, oh, sellotape. I hate sellotape, man. I hate it. Right, we have famous superstars. Hmm. Ah, okay. This is a Edgar Davids, nineteen ninety-five, which I believe is his rookie. We got superstars of Dean Richards, uh, Alan Armstrong, an Ipswich fan, an Ipswich player. A lot of my family are Ipswich fans. Brad Friedel, and another Ipswich guy. We had uh, Richard Naylor. Nice, nice little freebies. This is really, really nice. I believe this is a rookie. I think it's 95, maybe 96. Um, 95 to 96. I think his rookie is... He might have a 94 card. Um, a 94 IX card. You'd have to let me know. But Edgar Davids is... Just my era all over. This is pre-goggles Edgar Davids. Um, obviously there in his Ajax shirt a really really nice sticker this is a really good looking sticker visually very appealing uh, Super Calcio Calcio um, which I think is the I, I think this was I guess it was in Italy as well but I'm pretty sure this was just a Dutch only print but you'll have to let me know let me just remind you a bit of nostalgia here for you I haven't got a ball. I was thinking about recreating it, but I won't. If any of you are FIFA fans and you played FIFA 2003, FIFA 2003 had Edgar Davids on the front of the um, game. It was one of the best intros to FIFA ever before you had the EA Sports in the game thing. Um, you would have kind of this little intro before you pressed X to, uh, to start, and this was on the PlayStation 1. This is big nostalgia for me. And there's this brilliant intro, and I, can't, I probably won't put it in the video because I'll probably get copyright slammed. But there's a brilliant video where uh, Edgar Davids, right? He's, he's doing these kick-ups like this. He's doing the kick-ups. And then he, he flicks the ball up, puts it under his shirt like this, and goes, whoosh, spins it all the way around, and then like carries on juggling it. But the really funny thing is if you watch it, 
Edgar Davids is doing the absolute business. He's doing all these tricks. He's like juggling it on his head. It's brilliant. And you just got Ryan Giggs, who's in it as well, in this intro. And he just, he just kind of, he's doing this. And he doesn't actually do anything. And there's a point where he kind of gets, he gets, um, I think it's something I can throw. I've got this mouse here. So he's got the ball. Let's pretend this is a ball. And he kind of just does this. And like looks all kind of like, trying to, tries to look cool. He kind of just throws the ball up from like one side of his hand to the other, catches it. And then he's just like got the ball here and he's like, literally does nothing. You got Ev, Ed, Edgar Davids is doing all of the juggling and everything. And you just got Ryan Giggs going. That's my childhood, FIFA 2003. So yeah, Edgar Davids for me is the man. So that's why I picked up that card. That was a bit um, over the top, but yeah. Go and watch it and see how accurate I am on, on that FIFA 2003 intro. Right, package number um, three, I think. I think this one was from France. Didn't actually look, I just tore straight into it. We have... I'm oh, out of breath from that, doing that. Oh, it's kind of been from France. This must have been from England, surely. This is uh, a very early uh, Bobby Moore card. I think it might be his. No, it's not his rookie. So this is, a, I think, a 1960. Uh, is it a 62 or a 63? It's a 62 or a 63. Um, what's the name of it? It's Fleetwood Fleetway Publishing. So it's not a tiger, it's represented with tiger. They're not called tiger. It's not a tiger card. It's Fleetway Publishing. So if you're looking for this, it's Fleetway Publishing. Um, be very careful when looking at these on eBay. Because there are sellers that have got these listed at £500. And I picked this up for 20, 30 quid. So just be very careful when you purchase these online as you will see a lot of eBay listings listed at around 200 pounds, 500 pounds for this particular card. It's not the best looking card, I do like it. I think it's a very nice, it's a good picture of obviously Bobby Moore either clearing the ball via a header or maybe uh, headering it towards goal. Um, but I don't think I don't think it's the rarest card ever. You do see them pop up on eBay. Just make sure you're looking at eBay sold listings and you're not looking at eBay listings. Don't get caught out by things that are 500, 200 pounds when you can pick them up for 20 pounds, 30 pounds if you're patient, 40 pounds, however much. Um, so it does pay to be patient. I know sometimes when you see cards listed that you're really, really, that you really, really like, a lot of the time if they're buy now and they've been sat there for a while, it's just because they're not worth that. It's just someone chancing it. Um, there are quite a few sellers out there that, that do that with uh, vintage England football cards. So for the next parcel, we have... Ah, okay. So this is uh, Antonio Cassano rookie card. Now, some of you might not know who An Antonio Cassano is. Um, this is from 1999 to 2000. Um, if you don't know who Anthony Cassano is, kind of a, a very brief history of him. Uh, he was kind of a bit of a bad boy, a bit of a Lothario. Um, Played at several um, Serie A teams and actually played for Real Madrid alongside Beckham. Um, but he was most famously partnered with Francisco Totti at Roma. The partnership between them was fantastic. He was absolutely brilliant. This guy was one of the best players, but just wasn't... The, the sort of the professionalism, I guess you could say, with him was just... He was kind of his own character. He was his own man. There was a famous story about... They would weigh him all the time and they would fine him for every pound overweight he was. Um, as apparently he loved pastries. He loved two things, apparently, pastries and women. Um, and he used to get his, uh, apparently so, he would used to get his uh, manager or um, 
uh, friend to kind of do this whole pastry women pick up things. He would pick up women in the hotel room and then his manager would turn up with pastries and then they would do a swap of women for pastries. So he was a complete Lothario, bit of a madman. Um, didn't get along with kind of it was a bit controversial, I guess you could say at times. But there was absolutely no mistake in this guy's uh, ability. He was absolutely unbelievable. Some of the goals he scored, if you look at highlights of Antonio Cassano's, his goals were absolutely unbelievable. And I think the partnership that he had with Totti was just one of the best ever. Um, he's got short hair here, but he used to have uh, fairly long hair. They both, both used to have long hair. Um, but I'm glad I picked that one up. Maybe someone that not too many people are thinking about and he wasn't considered to be didn't win a Ballon d'Or or anything like that but he probably could have been or what probably was one of the best players in the Serie A at his day um, but there was just a lot of controversy surrounding Antonio Cassano towards his sort of professionalism and things off off the pitch I guess you could say but I'm definitely glad I picked that that sticker up and it's, it's quite a nice looking sticker actually I must say the Calcio Torre 2000 Um, so pa next package we have sellotaped to the actual envelope itself my favourite um, we have Sainsbury's chocolate pebbles I think triple chocolate oh no, I don't know what this cereal is ah ok we have a uh, Bonnier 1978 rookie card so another rookie card that probably people aren't too interested in um, this is one of Poland's best ever players um, here we go let's get this out and we'll put this in it I'll just pause it while we put this in a sleeve and top loader so it says it says Bonnier. Sorry, it's I think it's Bonnier. I think I think that's how you pronounce it. I think this might have been, unless this is one way of uh, in, in spelling his name. But I think this is actually a misprint. I think it's um, really thin top loaders to hand. I'll put in a thick one for now. Um, I think it's a misprint because it's his name. Sh I think should be spelt. B-O-N-I-E-K, not I-E-R. Um, but this is an FKS Argentina 1978 sticker. Um, quite a few rookies in this. You're probably looking at Patini. You're looking at Zico. But um, yeah, he played for Juventus and I think maybe Roma as well. But he was most famous for playing for Juventus. Again, as I said, one of the most famous, uh, best uh, Polish players of all time. I think Pele was quite... Uh, complimentary of him um, and he won pretty much everything I think with Juventus he won the uh, European Cup Super Cup Coppa Italia um, so yeah one that I think is definitely worth picking up I'm sure there's some um, Polish fans that uh, love this guy um, but I, I don't know I don't know I do know a little bit about him in terms of who he played for and, and what he won but and I've seen a couple of um videos of his on uh, of goals and stuff he was lightning quick super super fast um but yeah really interesting midfielder um so i wanted to pick him up and i picked him up for so cheap considering that's his rookie card um if there are any earlier cards do let me know but i think that is the earliest one okay and then for the final package we have a tom finney um now this has been completely sliced up, but um, let's, let's see if I can find the. I did have the card here somewhere. Um, we've got Brian Clough anyway. It's the same thing. So this is kind of the difference: is someone that would cut along the line up at the top here. They've cut very close to the actual dotted line. I mean, they've gone into the blue bit of the card but you can see this is where this is kind of like a perfectly um cut one and then this is just not cut well at all really um, i'm sure i had a oh yeah there it is 
this is the difference. And as I said in a previous Mail Monday, I'm thinking about doing a video where I discuss differences in cards in terms of the same thing. You'll see a lot of cards without the planetarium where they've just cut straight along the top. And then you'll see ones with, uh, not planetarium, the planet limited version where um, they have left it. So obviously I much prefer the ones where they've left it. I don't know if anyone prefers this way, but I just prefer this way because it's got more of a kind of a border. This looks like the border just been sliced straight off. But I'm sure when people collected these at the time in 1958, they weren't too bothered about slicing things off. And there's probably a lot of kids that were maybe collecting these as well that were probably just off, off straight off the top. So um, this is Tom Finney at Preston North End. Believe, believe this is a rookie card of his as well. Um, if it's not, do let me know. But I am picking up a lot of a lot of uh, vintage at the moment, so this would class as vintage. As I said, and I think in the previous Mail Monday, anything pre seventy nine is probably classed as uh, as vintage. Um, and we'll put this one in the top loader as well. So there we go. Uh, we got the Tom Finney. We've got the uh, Bonnie's, Bonnie X, sorry, uh, the Cassano, and the Bobby Moore, and the Edgar Davids. And I kind of went on a random tangent about the FIFA 2003. But anyway, if you did enjoy that video at uh, this Mail Monday, please do drop a like on the video. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. And I'll see you on the next Mail Monday. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm.